Hello, I am halfway through my closet makeover project. I am DIYing the entire closet on a budget and I wanted to get part one out to you guys before I get too far ahead of myself. As you can tell, I've made some pretty good progress, but I still have a very long way to go. I've researched so many different closet organization systems and they're all so expensive. I thought about doing the entire closet in the IKEA pack system. I thought about going to a custom closet company and ordering the materials through them, but ultimately I found that it would be the most cost effective if I did everything myself, of course. I am using the help of an IKEA a hack though I bought these two five drawer dressers so that we could have some nice strong drawer storage so before I started the entire project I designed everything in SketchUp so I'm gonna give you guys a little glimpse of my vision for this space so I will get the whole left side the first space is for the clothes hamper you can see the Tarva dresser to the right of the Tarva dresser that's where my shoes will go lots of space for folding clothes the whole back wall is where we will hang everything. I get the left side, Devin gets the right side, and the middle will be for our long stuff. And then Devin's side is laid out the same as mine. He has the dresser, some shelving for shoes, and then other shelving for folding items. And then we have the cubbies all along the top where we can put baskets and miscellaneous stuff. With this design, we will be able to maximize every inch of space from the floor to the ceiling. So for the first part of the closet makeover project, I took everything out of here. The closet came with some wire racks, so I took those out. Next step was to remove the carpeting. I took the carpet out, the carpet padding, and the little tack strips that are around the room. So I took all that out so I had a nice blank slate to work with. Then I built these bases out of two by fours. So my whole closet system has a nice little platform that it sits on. I installed my Ikea dressers and then I started working on the plywood supports. So there's a lot going on. I'm gonna take you guys with me through the whole project. I hope you guys stick around for part two because it's going to look so awesome. Okay, so I'm in the closet. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like before I start taking everything out of here. Um, there's a lot going on in here, so bear with me. So this is Devin's side. He's got some shoes up there, some nice hanging space. Too much hanging space. And then some shirts and shorts. Some more shoes down there. Some nice quality plastic bins. And our clothes hamper in the corner. And then I get the back wall. My shoe rack is tipping over. I don't think I can put any more shoes on there. <laughs> and then I get the right side also. Thank you, Devin. And then some more plastic bins that are at max capacity. I think this new closet design is really gonna be able to maximize every inch of this closet. So I'm really excited. Now I'm gonna start taking all the clothes out of here. I have a lot of clothes to go through to throw out, donate, give to family and stuff. So. Um, that's all gonna happen later after everything is finished. So, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys a little moving hack if you are moving anytime soon. If you take a garbage bag and wrap your clothes up, that way when you move they're protected, they don't get wet. I've used this plenty of times when I moved. And there you go. All your clothes are in a nice little safe bundle. <laughs> Here's the damage in our master bedroom. <laughs> Yikes, that's a lot of stuff. We have to go through so much. All the clothes and bins and shoes are out. The closet looks so much more roomy. Next up, I'm going to take out all of these wire shelving.
Here I'm taking out the carpeting, the carpet padding, and the tack strips. We're eventually going to do a nice hardwood floor in here, but for now I'm going to paint the concrete floors and you'll see that in part two. I decided to take the door off the hinges. It's just getting in the way and we never use it anyway. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna paint our concrete floors. I actually have a YouTube video on how to paint your concrete floors. So if you're interested, go check it out. Next, I'm taking off all of the baseboards. I want my platform to sit tight against the wall and I'll add some new base trim later after the closet is finished. Okay, so all the baseboard is up. I left a little gap there. That's where my um, two by four base is gonna sit. And same thing on this side. It's gonna sit in that little gap there. Now I'm gonna build a two by four base and it's gonna go all around. I'm starting with the 2x4 platform against the back wall. I made this 22 inches deep because that's where our clothes will be hanging and 22 inches will allow our clothes to hang there comfortably. After the frame was put together, I marked out the studs on the wall and I made sure to secure the frame to the studs in the wall for extra security. Now I'm working on the base for the left side and I made this one 15 and 3 quarters of an inch deep because it's the same depth of my Tarva dresser. Just like the base on the left side, I'm making the base on the right side 15 and 3 quarters of an inch also so it can fit the tarp dresser. Now that the base is finished, I took three quarters of an inch plywood and cut it to match the base and I secured it with some screws. I'm working on my Ikea hack. I bought two Tarva dressers. They are these nice, tall, five drawer dressers and I pretty much designed the whole closet around these dressers, so I hope they work. Um, I researched so many different closet organization systems and I think these dressers are the key to doing a closet like this on a budget. So, I'll show you my progress. This one still needs some love. And here's the finished Tarva dresser. Of course, they take forever to put together, so 
I'm going to pour a nice big glass of wine and keep chugging along. Okay, so the platform is done. I just set the dressers in here. The IKEA dressers came with some wall brackets, so I secured the dresser to the wall and I also secured it down into the base with some screws. Now I'm working on all of the vertical supports. I'm following my sketch up plan for the supports that are against the wall. I'm securing it with some liquid nails and I also drilled some pocket holes. So I'm drilling down into the base and then when my top shelf is on, I can screw up into the top shelf. Okay, so a little update on the closet. I have all of the vertical supports installed in one top shelf there. All of the supports against the wall, I glued them with um, liquid nails and stuck them to the wall and then screwed them into the wall as well. And all of the vertical supports are screwed down into the base as well. I drilled some pocket holes. And then for the top shelf, um, I also drilled pocket holes so that we can screw up into the shelf. And then for the vertical supports along the dresser, I just screwed right into the dresser and down into the base also. 
Next up, um, I'm gonna finish this top shelf and this top shelf. And then I'm going to work on all of the other horizontal shelving. So I made the base 15 and three quarters deep. And then all the vertical supports are at 15 inches so that I can go in and add a piece of trim later and it'll be nice and flush. That's it for part one. If you're interested in DIYing your own closet, I wrote a blog post about this project and I go into way more detail. So check the description of this video if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check back soon for part two of the closet makeover project to see everything come together.